Hi guys, Dolly Young here and I'm just going to have a little look through the new Hangouts layout that's on Google+. Plus. Now, what Hangouts are is a video chat that allows you to chat to up to nine other people at the same time um, that's on Google+. Plus. They introduced it when the Google Plus platform went live. Um, and they have a new version that just came out today. So I was just going to have a little look through and let you guys see it without actually having to go on to a hangout yourself. So if you pop onto your mainstream and you can click on your name up top left hand side to get on your mainstream. And down the right hand side when it loads, you'll see there's a hangout section. You'll sometimes have people underneath telling you that they're, they are hanging out and you'll be able to join from there. But at the moment, we don't have any here, so we'll click on start a hangout. Here we go. So this is the green room screen. What you have here is you have the picture of you. You can make sure that your hair is looking fine. And if you speak a little bit into the camera, you'll see that this little, um, microphone gauge will go up and down. Um, you can also check that your video is on here. You can click it off if you need to. And if you need to change any of these settings, click on the little cog here and you'll be able to change how your webcam comes up, your microphone, speakers and whether you are able to connect fairly fast or a slow connection. What this low connection does is it lets you just see thumbnails down the bottom of the screen, which will save you bandwidth and be able to allow people with much slower bandwidth to be able to video chat. So you can choose your connection and then click on save and we'll just cancel that for the moment. Now, I'm just going to be showing you the screen itself, so I'm not going to share this to anybody else. Although you would click on the add more people to add other people in here. But I'll just close it by clicking this little X here. Now, you can choose to hang out with extras. Now, the hang out with extras allows you to be able to edit documents on the Google Docs while you're in a hangout. So, yeah, that can be really, really handy if you are working on, a, say, a spreadsheet, if you're using it for a work or an actual document that you need to work with someone else to do. Also, I should point out right now that the capture moment, that little button there, is part of the My Hangouts. It won't always be there. So when you're ready, click on the Hangout button. and up pops the little sad robot that no one's here right now. Now, if there are already people in here, you will see their picture there instead of that, and it will flip around to whoever is actively speaking at the time. Now, you'll notice down the bottom, when I speak, this little green um, bar fills up and goes down. That just gives you a visual gauge of who's speaking at the time or if there is someone on the Hangout that's given a lot of interference, you'll be able to tell who it is. Also, when you hover over a person, you'll see there's a link to the person's profile, which you can click, and also a mute button if you need it. Now, back up to the top. Now, how the old Hangouts layout used to be, um, all the buttons were down the bottom. So now everything's up the top, apart from muting individual people. Um, you have a chat box. So if you've not got the opportunity to speak, um, say the, the flow of the conversation is a little bit different than you want it to be, you can always put something in chat and you just click in there and type in this box down here. Um, you have an invite box which will bring up the invite box that you saw previously in the screen before. You can click on add circles or people to share with and you'll be able to share to whoever you need to. Also you can close that without inviting anybody as well. Now there is a feature called screen share. It's in the hangouts with extras and it, when you click in it, it brings up 
a sharing request screen. Now you can share, for example, the desktop. I've got lots of screens on this computer. So what I'll do is I will just screen share the window that has the hangout in it. So share selected window. There we go. So you'll see down here that we have an example of what's on my screen. And to stop that, I just click the button again. Okay. Um, we also have a YouTube video here. Click on that and it will open up the YouTube section. If you search for the video that you like, say for example, I, I have different videos up, so I'll just search for them. Click on the search button. There we go. Lots with me in it. Okay, there's a video there. Click on it and it will start playing. Okay, and we'll pause it down here. Now you have your standard YouTube links down here. Automatically, when you listen to a YouTube video, you will notice that you are muted. This is just to make sure that you don't disturb other people while you're watching it. And it will automatically unmute when you are pausing the video. See? So, we have that. How to close it is to either click on the button up here, or if I go back into it, you can click on the little X here. All right, so the next section, we still have the reindeer from Christmas here. This might change to something else as the seasons change. They might come up with something for Valentine's or Easter. So at the moment, to use a reindeer, you can change the reindeer antlers. Um, and if you click on it again, it will take them off. Now they do have different things, so you keep clicking just to ha um, go through each of the different reindeer or whatever they change it to. So it just finds your eyes and then places things around where your eyes are, usually. People can have fun with this. If they've got like an animal, they'll kind of position the animal where it would be most amusing. Okay, so over the far right hand side, we have your personal mute button. You've also got a personal mute video, which is quite handy if you're wanting to just need to pop off for a second. See? There's also a cog on the far right hand side. This is your quick settings button. So you can click on that and it will open up those settings that I showed you earlier on. You can click on cancel just to quickly get out of them. Now, when you want to leave a Hangout, probably the best way is to click on exit and it will take you out of there. Okay, so you want to find a couple of Hangouts yourself. Now, you can find them through your stream by clicking on your main stream and now I could scroll down until I find one, but I know someone that will be having one right now. So Brad, click in there and you'll see this kind of link here and you'll be able to click it and go into that particular Hangout. Now there's another way to find Hangouts is if you click back into stream, You'll have, sometimes if there are active Hangouts happening, you'll see them pop up down here, as you can see, or you can start your own Hangout down here. Click on the Join, um, or if you click on the Start Your Own Hangout, you can see on the far right hand side that there are more Hangouts for you to be able to choose. All right, so there is the new Hangouts for you. Um, if you see me hanging out, feel free to jump on in and give us a, a wee shout and um, enjoy hanging out.